Yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, is close to everything here. He is close to everything here. It's, yeah. it's a really good destination. Yeah. Wow. So, so I say, I have a tissue cup cade, Kai, property investment, education, property land, two apartments. Kila, I have a lot of cade, premier apartment, so this is my apartment, it's three chambers, and we're going to make it. And then, so I say, I'm going to park the machine room. C'est Kachi, Kachi est réellement nice, quiet, quiet neighborhood. Just film it. As you can see, uh, this is one of the apartments that we look at, uh, one of the houses that we look at during our trip in Puerto Rico. This area called Levy Town, I think so, yeah, that's Levy Town, something like that. Uh, me and Justin, we did look at other properties, but this one is the one that in Levy Town that we did look at. And as I told you earlier, uh, the asking price was $220,000, and then we did look all the three apartments in there, and then one of the apartments, the owner was still living in it, so we he let us in there so to, to look at it. And it is not like a premium apartment, but it is... An average apartment for most people like I'm not saying lower class or middle class who can live there because one of the apartment has AC and there's potentiality you can put AC in all of them if you want and if you want to upgrade and for the asking price there is not much that you will be doing if you were to buy this apartment this this house because most of them are already in top chips so you just have to do a little bit of cosmetic uh, arrangement uh, to make sure that clean up paint and then change cabinets and then some of the bathroom needs some of the bathroom need new fixtures things like that and i think that with a 10 10 to twenty thousand dollars more you could really do some proper update and then make sure that this apartment uh, these apartments are ready for rental uh, for the asking price for rental, I was inquiring. Uh, the ask probably on like one of this apartment can fetch easily between eight to nine hundred dollars a month, uh, up to one thousand dollars a month. Remember, this is Puerto Rico. Uh, the rent is not really that high compared to New York City or any part in the states here, but it is kind of expensive. And then I have a look also about the minimum wage over there and since that most of the uh, most of the company that I went and then check even we're talking about uh, Burger King, McDonald's, when this those this company pay like close to twelve dollars an hour and uh, those are probably the minimum wage over there. So I didn't really ask but that's what I saw in the uh, hiring advertising that posters that they put uh, when you enter to buy food. So that's what it is. And then Uber, so a lot of people do Uber over there because uh, I had a chance to talk to them and ask questions. And you see, it is a very quiet, no stress life, you know, very stressless. Uh, so people enjoy and then the weather. Uh, it was like, oh, the other one is like an 80. It's like, <laughs> it was like 80, 85, 90 sometimes. And then people are very genuine, quiet, and then welcoming. So I, we did have a great time there. So this is one of the apartment, um, one of the house that we look at, and then stay tuned, and then we will show you the second one. The second one it is a trip, so we will talk more about it. But that was the one that was in Lady Town, and then the realtor was very knowledgeable, and then it is a young guy, it is an investor himself, and then we have his number. So we will definitely be in touch with him because we told him that we will be check in and then if he has any good deal because we told him specifically what we want and then if he finds something he could call us and then if needs be we will take a flight there to make sure that we go as you saw guys i show you the letter of approval because there's nothing to hide uh, i always advise if you intend to go into investment it is always wise to go and get a letter of approval a quick qualification letter from a bank and then with this, you can show to the realtor, and then they will be more enticed to take you 
places because remember guys time is money so nobody wants to waste their time and then take in you show in new places and then you have to be singers so at least you have to show them that there is some kind of a commitment or at least you can back up what you want them to do for you okay so that is one of the reasons if you are going to buy cash though so therefore you better come with something that can show them that you are serious um, it's not going to be a one shot deal that you just go there and you buy you have to do your due diligence you have to make sure that you know what you are getting yourself in total because even it is Puerto Rico it is a commonwealth of the United States uh, but it is still a distant country. They have their own rules, their own things. So therefore, when it comes to the local and the federal government over there, they are very strict. So you have to really do your due diligence and make sure you work with some reputable people that will not scam you. Uh, because scam is all over the world. So specifically, if you are a foreigner, you don't know the language. And then speaking a little bit of spanish will help in a way uh, i do not really speak spanish i understand a little bit i could say a few words but i happen just to understand more than me so he was more the one that was engaging in conversation with the non-english speaking people people who speak they speak speak spanish so he was the one doing mostly of the conversation but if they were talking in english so therefore i could do it so I did really enjoy that experience, you know, so that gave me a better understanding about real estate uh, because we are gravitated into doing international real estate, going to different places and then do investment. So this is one of the things that in my channel I'm going to be talking about mostly. I will be talking mostly about real estate, about financial things. So guys, please. But anyway, thank you for dropping by if you are a first comer and then for all my uh, supporters uh, people who keep watching me. And thank you for sticking with me, guys. And as I said, I am gravitating toward doing more engaging videos. I uh, will be talking about real estate, about traveling, about investment, uh, things that will engage you guys, things that will motivate you, then that will encourage you guys to, to make the next step and whatever you plan to do and then please let's make let's let's take the journey together guys so thank you for stopping by and then bye and then as you know guys my name is Juan Swanen and it was truly a pleasure guys uh spending this time with you bye see you for the next video